shutting down Windows 7 might be the easiest action yet. It's just like when you start up. Simply click on the Start button and click Shut Down. It searches through all your open windows to see if you saved all your work. And if you haven't, it lets you know, so you can click Save and you're safe. If shutting down is not what you're looking to do, you might want to try one of these options. Maybe you're through working at your PC and someone else wants their turn with it. Simply log off. Click the Start menu, and instead of clicking Shut Down, click the arrow next to Shut Down, then click Log Off. Windows saves your work and settings and returns to the welcome screen. A similar option is to switch users. This is helpful if someone just wants to log on for a couple minutes. Again, click the Start button, then click the little arrow next to the Shut Down button, and choose Switch User. From here, the Windows screen appears but keeps your programs open, waiting in the background for your return. Now the other person can log on. You might also want to leave your PC turned on, but locked. That keeps people from messing with it while you're away. This option locks your PC and places your user account picture on the screen. Click the Start button, click the arrow next to the shutdown button, and select Lock. When you get back, type in your password, and bingo! You're back to where you left off. The Restart option can be used when Windows 7 screws something up. For example, a program crashes or something just doesn't seem to be working right. Click the Start button, then click the arrow next to Shut Down, and click Restart. You may also need to use this feature after you install a new program. Another option is the Sleep function. This saves your work and lets your computer take a rest in a low power state. Hibernate is an option that can be found on some laptops, too. This option copies your work to your hard drive and turns off your PC. The Hibernate function is different than Sleep because it's slower at redisplaying your work where you left off. One last tip, always remember to shut down Windows 7. Don't just press your computer's off button. Take the steps to shut down properly today and you'll prevent computer problems tomorrow. You don't have to shut down Windows 7 on your computer. The experts disagree about whether their computers are healthier if they're turned off each day, but everybody says to turn off your monitor and give it a rest when you're done working.